Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we went to Tweedledee and Tweedledum's office uh, where apparently the flycatcher who lost his janitorial job at the woodland departments got a job here sweeping for this building and he's kind of on the good side of the dumbs or the Tweedles rather and was defending them while we were saying that they're pieces of shit. Uh, looking around their office, we, um, uh, we found a, a basement, a hidden basement, with, uh, some incriminating stuff. We found the name of the witch being Auntie Greenleaf, but with no address. So we then went to the Trip Trap, had some words with Woody and Gren. Gren being a little bit loopy because he's got some really, really good medicine. As he passed out, we went through Lily's stuff in Holly's room and had some so uh, somber moments with uh, with Lily or with Holly rather. And we found uh, Lily's address book and found uh, Auntie Greenleaf's address, which is where we are going now with Snow White. Big B. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Um, well, let's listen first. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Okay, let's just knock on the door. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Munchkin? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a Munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel. What's yours? Just so... We're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Uh -huh. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. Uh, okay, guess we're just walking right on in. Wow, that is an interesting I've been decor. Here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby, I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. No kidding. That your mom? Uh huh. So she's Mama Greenleaf? Here's your Mama Hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy. Interesting tree. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. 
for you to think Crane was hiding in the fucking tree? No one's been over all night, so... There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Let's check this closet door. Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Something's not Just right. Get back exactly where it was, please. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. Bitch. What? Not sprightly enough? You think we have time to waste on this shit? You think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow. You were nicer than I thought you would be when I was her. But if I help you, I can promise that help will not go unpunished. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could oh, don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Oh, lordy. I'm sorry, shit. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Both have valid points. Snow is a very valid point. Greenleaf is a very valid point. 
Um, I'm of the mind of sparing the tree. Snow's not going to like it. But... I mean, realistically... Here's the thing. Like, Greenleaf isn't... Like, directly responsible for these murders. You know what I mean? She, she's not the one that's making all these fables into prostitutes and everything like that. She's doing what she has to do. Like, it's like saying someone who rents a room to a prostitute and her client are, res are like, you know, directly responsible for them doing illegal stuff. No. It's just a place to... To go to bed, to fuck, whatever. It's just a place. It's just a venue. Greenleaf is technically doing the same thing. She's just providing accessories, if you will. And I don't see why we can't have, like, cheaper glamours. Like, I never really understood this. Like, why does it only have to be, like, mandated, like, this kind of glamour? Like, who cares? As long as the glamour makes you look like a human, that's all that matters. Like, I, I don't see the point of really having, like, this one glamour that's, like, super expensive to begin with. It's like cars. Like, you can get a piece of shit car or you can get a really expensive car. Really high-end, top of the class. Like, it doesn't matter. As long as you know what you're getting, you know? But please. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble. And we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. Yeah, seriously. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Oh my god. Just... Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. Look, it was gonna be a matter of time before she got caught. I don't know why she's, like, freaking out about this. We are again. That's Crane's car. Well, looks like it didn't go very far. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want to taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane. What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know, now! Hey, you can't just go in there! Yeah, we can. We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I can't! I can't! I'm 
sorry, I... You both know what's going on. Just tell me. Crane, get away from her. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just, just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. Please just... Just let me show you. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to... You... You... Come on. In brightest day, in blackest no, night. Killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> Look, buddy, you brought this on yourself. How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too. Too many. But. I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. <laughs> we found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Seems more like lust than anything. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No, I don't. He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to... Shut up. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. This fuck up knows more than he's saying. That I, I agree with. I don't. No, you yes, do. Yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? <sighs> this is bigger you know, than Crane. When I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. What We're a piece not gonna of shit. kill you, so quit your shivering. What a piece of shit. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. I know. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the... He gave up massage massage sessions, all right? I can't even say massage sessions. Too many to count. This guy sacrificed. We should be so lucky to have a guy like him. Goddamn wagon! I did the best I could with what I had. 
and the town took everything. Oh, you I want to break his nose me. so badly. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. March. What are you saying? What now? It's always something. Shit. Okay, that's not good. you got there look it's recently come under our attention that you're how shall I put this attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man he's about yay high 120 odd pounds pissed his sheets until he was 14 sound familiar I haven't told him anything not now not now shh the grown-ups are talking. If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh... You know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. I, I could swear I dodged it. Bigby? Mm. Oh. You guys are fucked now. You 
guys are fucked. Fuck anymore. Just didn't know when to end. You know, you didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know Come it's on. ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. What's the point of pressing Q Wait. if it's not going to do anything? Yeah. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, don't do this. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedlestay. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. shit and that's the end of the episode yeah that arm's got to be in a cast and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this this is getting worse by the minute we don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move i'll get things under control woody i'm not gonna tell you again back off dog this doesn't concern you 
What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Boy, did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? You and 80.7% of players decided not to interrupt. What place did you investigate first? Wow, Werner, you were in the minority at 19%, 19.8%. Most people either went to Crane's apartment or, sorry, or to the trip trap. Did you offer flycatcher a job? I mean, I technically didn't offer a job. I said talk to Snow. 79.5% of players did not burn Green Leaf's tree. Majority uh, did not kill him. That's actually interesting. I would have thought the majority would have killed him. Oh my god, what an ending. What a fucking ending. We finally got to see uh, uh, Big B unleash a little bit. Um, and against Bloody Mary, no less. Like, Bloody Mary like, took us down hard with one fucking bullet. Like, can you, like, imagine that. How many times did we get shot at by the Tweedles? And one fucking bullet from Bloody Mary brought us down. That's fucking crazy. And now they have Crane. Excuse me. They have Crane, but to what end, we still don't know. I mean, it can't just be about, like, paying his debt back. Um, like, I still maintain that he, he knows more than he's saying. I don't know. But it's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy shit. What's the next episode called? In Sheep's Clothing. Yeah, look at Bluebeard, son of a bitch. Everyone's gotta be like... Everyone's like antagonizing us. And we're and vilifying us too. It, it's so funny. Anyways. And hey, at least we saved uh, Greenleaf's tree, so... Toad... Uh, shouldn't have any more fucking problems with the glamours, and even the pig, uh, Colin. Hopefully, he shouldn't have any problem, any more problems. <sighs> okay, so episode four. So uh, I believe there's five episodes in total. So two more episodes to go. Three fifths of the way through. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. It's gonna get crazier. It's gonna get crazier before the end. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.